last night because I was really nervous. That Hey guys, what's up? It's Sierra here, one of Bustle's social media editors over on the West Coast. And today I'm going to show you how to do something that I have been dying to try for a really long time, but didn't really think I could actually pull off. Some pom-pom earrings. So yeah, I practiced making one last night because I was really nervous that it was going to come out like crap. Um, but it didn't, surprisingly. And I even made the pom-pom itself which is crazy to me, did not know you could make your own pom-pom. And I went with red since tomorrow is 4th of July. All right, so this is the device that you use to make the pom-poms. Um, it looks weird, but I promise you it works. Basically, you just take the yarn and wrap it around these arches um, to start. All right, so I've wrapped it all around. Now I'm gonna cut the excess off and repeat the process on these two arches. All right, so now that both arches are wrapped in the yarn, I'm gonna take some scissors and cut down the middle of each of them. All right, so I've taken some of the thread and I've wrapped it around this entire like middle area of the device and I'm just going to tie it really tight because this is what's going to hold the pom-pom together. Now I'm going to cut off this excess bit of thread and it's time to open the pom-pom up. So you just pull this apart. All right, so now that I'm done with the pom-pom, it's time to start with the earring part of it all. Um, I'm gonna start with um, the gold chain and just measuring out the length that I want my earring to be, and then cutting it. So attaching the chain to the pom-pom is probably the most complex part of this entire process, just because I'm terrible with needle and thread, but basically you just wanna take your thread and stick it through the pom-pom and then back. So basically you're just trying to fasten the pom-pom and the chain together using the thread. Ugh, okay, so I'm done with the hard part, and now it's time to fasten the earring hook to it. So I'm going to take my little jump ring right here, this small guy, and open it up with the jewelry pliers. Cat. So I've got my open jump ring. I'm going to attach the earring hook to it, and then attach it to the top of the chain. If I can. So last but not least, if you want to be extra meticulous, is just cleaning up around your pom-pom and trimming it to make sure it's a little bit more round. Like I have some loose ones right here that I kind of want to get rid of. Okay guys, so I am obsessed with how these came out. I honestly didn't think they were going to turn out this well, and I think this might be my favorite DIY yet. Let me know what you guys think, and if you have any questions about this DIY or suggestions for what I should try next.